Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. We've got a question from a boater asking, Jeff, I'm about to install a battery combiner on my boat and I'm wondering where the connections for that battery combiner should go. Great question, because battery combiners look pretty simple, but in actuality, installing them is full of pitfalls. And the first one uh, that is commonly not done properly is actually connecting a battery monitor, not to the battery itself, but to some other point later down. And they, what happens is they're actually wiring a battery combiner to what's called a switched point. So the first step and the only way to make this work properly is to have a battery combiner connected to the unswitched distribution. So let's have a look at this diagram. So a battery combiner is this device here. Uh, and what does a battery combiner do? A battery combiner is basically a device that allows your batteries to be put into parallel, effectively combined, automatically whenever there's a charging charging voltage that's measured. And that charging voltage is generally around 13.3 uh, volts, okay? So that's basically what you're looking at. And that's what the combiner says. Oh, you know what, time of plenty, why don't we share a charge that's going on on the engine battery and share it with another battery, okay? So now let's have a look at um, where what we're gonna do here. So we've got our battery combiner right here, and that's that device. Now notice where the fuses are. There's a fuse right here at the unswitched distribution, right? So we can't, realistically, you can't bring all the connections to a battery. So what you end up having is having a device that's called an unswitched distribution for your house battery because there would be too many connections at the battery itself. For the house, the engine battery, it's possible because engines should not have that many connections. So you're gonna have a fuse located right at the battery. And Blue Seas, for example, makes a fuse called a marine rated battery fuse, which is really useful for that. So here's the trick. So you've got a battery fuse located at the engine battery, and you've got another battery fuse located at unswitched distribution. Now notice the battery combiner right here, this device right here, it is actually effectively always connected to either the engine battery or the house battery. And even if the switch is on or off, that combiner is always going to be connected to the battery. And if you don't do that way, well, welcome to a world of magic. And that's where boats do things that don't make any sense. So you always have to follow the instructions. Otherwise, it's just really, really confusing. Again, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.